Hello and welcome to the Sparta Mayor Manager Show. I'm Mayor Wes Brenniger along with my town manager, Brian Edwards. And uh, Brian, good to have you here with us again today. Thank and, you, Mayor Brenniger. Good and, morning. Uh, we just want to give you an update from our last uh, couple meetings that we've actually had. Uh, you know, we, we started off, we, we have talked about uh, the connect fees, reconnect fees, and deposits for our water in town, and we held a public hearing, and we didn't get no feedback from nobody, so everything, I think everybody's on board with this this new procedure we're going to go with. I believe so, Mayor. We, I think we've handled it in a good way. There's been a fair amount of publicity, newspaper ads, and otherwise uh, information disseminated, and why we needed to increase these fees. and. We did have a large uh, turnout at the meeting uh, last Tuesday evening, but no one spoke to the proposed fee increase. And in fact, the council approved that, so that will go into effect June 1. June 1, and, and just to give you an update on what that is, in case you missed our meeting or haven't, haven't quite got it, we are increasing our reconnect fee from $10 to $30. Uh, our deposit fee for the water sewer will increase from $50 to $100. Uh, and that goes into effect, like you say, June 1st, 2019. And that does not affect anybody that's paying their bills or anything like that. You're, you're good to go. And the deposit only applies to rental. To rental properties. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but I, I believe it's the right thing to do, and uh, that will go into effect June 1. So we're, we're proud of that. You know, and it's something else that we got going on, and you'll notice as you come through town that there is some... Uh, some paving or uh, some spreading of dirt over by uh, Green Acres area right there. Mm -hmm. We're getting, we've started our Crestview Booster Pump project yes. also. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to elaborate on that and tell the folks about the progress and okay. um, maybe even give them an estimated time of, uh, uh, of the project being done. Okay. Well, we started at Collins Ridge Road and we're running a new water line uh, down Collins Road that will connect with an existing water line on Highway 18. Uh, then we will be installing a booster pump station at the entrance to Green, uh, Green Acres, Green Acres Drive. There will be a booster station uh, established there. That will allow us to pump water from the other uh, areas of town where wells and river water will be able to be uh, pumped into those tanks up behind Crestview Apartments. It's going to increase fire safety, uh, flow, and quality of water for everybody on 18 South, all the way out to the health department. We think this is a much needed uh, project, uh, Mayor Berninger. We've been working on it for a few years now. Construction is underway, and I've been very pleased with the progress that I've seen. And I would expect this project will wind up within the next 90 days or so. So those guys are really doing a fantastic job out there, and weather permitting, uh, of course, that will dictate how quickly right. we can get, do, get done, too. Mm -hmm. uh, we approved a contract with our Gibson and Company to audit our accounts in a physical year, and Peggy, mm -hmm. uh, our town clerk, had uh, give us a little th rundown on that in our meeting. But these guys do an outstanding job, and we really appreciate what they do to our, for our town audits. Yeah, I think you sat in on the exit meeting last year, and uh, it's a good informative session for council members and, and to hear and understand uh, the uh, financial operations of the town. We do feel like that we're in a very strong position for a town our size and Peggy does a great job uh, with our finances there. So we appreciate that and we do believe that uh, Gibson Company does a great job auditing and provides us support throughout the year. Any questions that we have about uh, procedural issues or legal issues regarding uh, budgeting and or financing, we, we turn to those folks for guidance. Uh, I just want to give you a, a pat on the back for doing a great job as as town manager because I know years ago when you inherited the in the town manager's job it was kind of right there on the borderline and you've and you've over the years we've we've done good. Well, thank you. I I, I think our financial uh, position has improved in, over the past 15 years. We're very proud of that. It's taken the the council and and uh, to increase be willing to increase taxes so that we had uh, the revenues to do many of the improvements that are necessary and that we have a responsibility to maintain those assets. So it's a, uh, it's a joint uh, effort between the management and the council to be sure that we have the uh, necessary funds to operate the town in a, in a safe and a financially prudent fashion. So thank you. The, the, one of the continuing talk, topics that we have in our meetings is the streetscape waterline replacement project and, and we're making it more progress. I mean this thing's starting to roll now and we're getting it 
we're rolling ahead, so to speak. Yes, we are. We've got a lot of the financing is coming together. At our meeting uh, last Tuesday evening, well, but let me back up and say prior to that, on the Wednesday before, we had a special meeting of the council, and we heard an appeal uh, led by a presentation by Ricky Brown talking about the reasons that we needed to invest in the streetscape project. And one of Ricky's main points was that uh, at the $3.5 million investment, we are not going to see that m much substantial change to the downtown area. Uh, we get the water line in the ground and the street repaved, but the overhead uh, power lines remain, the traffic signal that's there now remains. The sidewalks would be improved, but they would not be widened. Uh, so there are a number of features that have been presented uh, over the years as we've worked toward this project that we would not be able to accomplish uh, at a $3.5 million budget. Uh, in fact, the, the bid came in at just over $5 million for the construction. Now, in our negotiations, we have been able to reduce that number to about $4.2 million for construction. So certainly moving in the right direction and working hand-in-hand -hand with our engineer and with our contractor to look at every avenue that we can to uh, bring that project into a, uh, a, a project cost that we can afford and deal with. But if 4.2 exceeds the amount of money, actually it's 4.9 with the soft cost. The construction budget is 4.2, but the total budget is 4.9. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the town's commitment at this point has been at 3.5 million. So we uh, are asking, going to ask the county commissioners to join with the town on this project. And in fact, the town council approved a resolution making a specific request to Allegheny County Commissioners to uh, join us with 1.4 million from the county to join the 3.5 million that the town has budgeted. And that would give us the 4.9 million to do the project in its basic entirety as it has been presented over the years. So uh, that's where we are, uh, Mr. Mayor. I think our council members feel like that Sparta is the county seat and the center of business and trade for Allegheny County and that all the citizens of Allegheny County uh, have have a reasonable uh, investment opportunity to help the town with this project and so that's that's the ask at, at this point in time. And you know Brian to your to your credit mm -hmm. uh, a few meetings ago we talked about trying to find as as much as we possibly could from mm -hmm. other words. So this was our last resort kind of to go to the county mm -hmm. and that's why it's waited to this last minute here. We didn't want to just put it on the county's table right off the bat. Exactly. We and we're continuing those efforts. Uh, we have conversations going on right now with our state representatives. We are continuing to uh, investigate opportunities like Appalachian Regional Commission, the Golden Leaf Commission for funding. So. Uh, we will continue uh, as this process goes forward to see if we can secure funds. And at any point that we are able to secure additional funds, that would reduce the amount that the county would have to contribute to the project. So uh, there's an informational meeting scheduled for tomorrow evening. It's going to be at the Methodist Church at the Pew Outreach Center. It begins at 6 p.m., I believe, is the, is the beginning time. This uh, informational meeting is being sponsored by the Allegheny County Chamber of Commerce. Their board of directors has endorsed this project and feel like that we need to make every effort we can to see the project done in its completion at the 4.9 million level. So there will be presentation uh, of uh, information regarding exactly uh, the scope of the project, the cost of the project, and the funding that's available to get, to get us to that point. So if you're available to come, 6.30 p.m. at the Sparta Methodist Church. Six o'clock. I'm six sorry, six o'clock. Six o'clock p.m. at the Sparta Methodist Church for the informational meetings uh, hosted by the Chamber of Commerce. And you're going to be there, of yes. course, and I, I'm going to be there also. Mm -hmm. and, and welcome to field questions of, about anything that we can help out with, with any yes. discrepancy or, Absolutely. or any mis misinformation. Any misinformation or questions that you have, I will certainly be there and be available to uh, be part of the presentation in terms of providing the background on this project and where the current financing uh, currently is. I do want to give an update to all our viewers out there that are watching our uh, show here. We, we had a joint meeting that was scheduled for April 29th. We have changed that meeting, uh, the county and the town council, to April the 22nd, and it will be held in the county commissioner's room at 6.30 p.m. 
this is the joint meeting, and it means or the uh, Allegheny County Commissioners and the T Sparta Town Council will have a joint meeting, and everybody will be there. We encourage all of you to come out. Uh, and we are going to be talking about streetscape specifically on this meeting. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, th we had it originally scheduled for uh, April 15th. Yes. So if you were planning to go that morning to the county commissioner's meeting, uh, they have pushed the streetscape issue back to the joint meeting. And that will be on April 22nd once again. And I think that's a good thing. You've got yes. both parties in, mm -hmm. involved and mm -hmm. ready to answer questions also. And mm -hmm. uh, with each other. That's right. And that will be an evening meeting beginning at 6.30 p.m. at the County Commission meeting room. Um, we got the Sparta Parkway and, mm -hmm. and, and it's a great thing and if you haven't had a chance to get out there and, and actually ride the new road, it, it's it's beautiful the way they've got it done yes, there. Yes. But we want to try, we're trying to get that labeled, uh, Brian, as a truck route and yes. I'll let you elaborate a little bit on that. Well, we, uh, the, through the county and the town jointly, have approached our uh, division engineer about the process to getting more signage and designate that as a truck route uh, around Sparta. And they've been very supportive of it. Uh, it does require an ordinance to be done at the state level. Uh, that ordinance is in process at this time. So hopefully over the next few weeks, we will see that ordinance approved by the uh, transportation secretary. And then we will see additional signage that will help route these uh, trucks uh, around on the, new, on the Sparta Parkway and the new extension. And I, again, I'd like to uh, commend um, Mr. Joyce over at DOT. Yes. What, a, what a great asset he is to our county. Those guys and, and the crew that was over there that finished out that bypass really done an awesome job. Yes, they did. Uh, very nice job and ahead of schedule. And it's going to be a big benefit to the town uh, over the many years to come. If we can reduce the number of trucks that travel down our main street, reduces uh, noise, pollution, uh, uh, otherwise pollution as well and just frees up the, the street especially for trucks trying to make the turn there at that intersection it's very difficult tight radius for a 53 foot tractor trailer truck to make a turn at that uh, 821 18 intersection many of a road sign have mm -hmm. bit the dust yes, there on that have. corner right there yep. so mm -hmm. uh, we want to talk about our FEMA uh, meeting that we have mm -hmm. with the Mitchell Mountain Road project out there and that and we kind of got a little bit of bad news mm -hmm. right there but we yeah. didn't expect a whole lot either well that's true uh, disappointing in that the that project uh, has been determined to be not eligible for uh, relief funding through the disaster relief of the FEMA organization we are continuing to uh, explore other avenues of uh, help with funding on that project. We do have an engineering report that is complete at this point in time, and we do have some estimates uh, on that, but we're working through that at this time. And we'll have more information to come, uh, Mayor Brenninger, when, when we have something more definitive that we can uh, say. I, what I will offer is this, uh, that road continues to be stable. We monitor it on a weekly basis. Uh, I, f I do not feel in any way that there is any safety concerns or considerations at this point in time. And we would just ask our folks to be patient with us as we work through and try to do the very best that we can in terms of, of whatever action is uh, selected to uh, make those improvements that we need. And you said a very good thing right there is that we're constantly monitoring that. And that's what we're, what we're doing on all of our, our situations mm -hmm. with our sewer and our water, all this mm -hmm. stuff, is we want to catch something early stages before mm -hmm. it gets out of hand. And, and that's, that's right. And that's good on our maintenance crew that really does a great job. They, they're doing a, one thing I will mention just in recent last couple of weeks. We've made significant improvements with the amount of infiltration water that's coming yes. into our uh, wastewater treatment system. And that is due... Uh, singularly to our maintenance crew getting out and identifying these areas where we've got water uh, where these uh, sewer lines and manholes are along close to the creek and over the years uh, deterioration has occurred and it allows water to get into our system uh, and we've made uh, con considerable improvement just in the last month in uh, getting that situation under better control. Have a holiday coming up of course Easter weekend will be here before you know it but this coming weekend, we have a, a group of people here in our county called All Up, uh, an organization that is volunteering to go out here and pick up some trash uh, on Saturday uh, around town, on the edge of town and everything. And we encourage everybody to come on out. Be a part of that if you don't have any plans. Uh, this Saturday, I believe it's the 13th, I mm -hmm. think it is. Uh, come on out. You can meet down at Miles Realty at 9 a.m., uh, they will be providing you with some gloves, trash bags, whatever you need, and a vest 
to go out here and, and kind of pick up some loose trash. Mm -hmm. And, and it, we did it last year, yeah. Brian, and mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed getting out there to, to – I went to Veterans Park and picked up, I know, four bags out mm -hmm. there. Right. So Well, I, I went to Krause Park and other areas around town, and we had a, we had a good, good group. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking forward to folks showing up on Saturday morning and 9 o'clock, and we'll pick up trash. Come on out and enjoy mm -hmm. that. Also, come to our meeting, uh, the joint meeting again, April 22nd in the county commissioner's room at 6.30 p.m. And, Brian, if there's anything else you'd like to add, we'll, we'll nope, get out of here. I think so, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Uh, we'd like to thank Charlie Scott mm -hmm. for the opportunity to be on Allegheny Community TV. Always helps us and, and, and accommodates everything that we need here, and we really appreciate that. So for Brian Edwards, I'm Mayor Wes Brenniger. We'll see you next time on the Sparta Mayor Manager Show.